An all-for-all -all prisoner swap between Ukraine and the Donetsk People's Republic may start on December 25, the Secretary of the Republic's Security Council Alexander Khodakovsky said on Monday. The prisoner swap will most likely have several stages, Khodakovsky said. We remember prisoner swap is one of the key points in agreement reached at Minsk, Belarus meeting of the International Contact Group on settling the Ukraine conflict. The UN representatives will meet with the Rostov on Don authorities and Ukrainian refugees. According to Alexander Titov, the Rostov region government spokesman, the UN delegation includes representatives from the UN High Commissioner for Refugees in Russia, Bais Vakvoya, advisor on legal issues with the UNCH office in Russia, Irina Sherbakova, and head of the Bureau of the International Organization for Migration in Moscow, Zlatko Zigik. The delegation has arrived. Today they will meet with deputy governor of the the Rostov region Vadim Artomov to discuss the problem of refugees in the region, Titov said. Washington urged all countries not to do business with Russia. We've seen the reports regarding Indian businesses signing contracts with Russian businesses. We continue to urge all countries not to conduct business as usual with Russia. We continue to monitor it, but we haven't looked at all specifics of the contracts for obvious reasons, the State Department's elder Psaka Jennifer Psaki said. Dream on, Jen! A U.S. Marine accused of killing a Filipino transgender woman will face a murder charge. The crime is put in the local government under pressure to review its security cooperation agreement with the U.S. amid growing regional tensions with China. The prosecution has ruled there was probable cause that Marine Pacific Joseph Scott Pemberton killed Jennifer Lott in a motel room in northwest of the capital Manila. Prosecutor Emily De Los Santos called it murder and ruled that no bail will be available to the 19-year-old Marine. It was aggravated by treachery, abuse of superior strength and cruelty, she also said. Shortly after Pemberton's arrest, nine U.S. warships canceled visits to Filipino ports in October and November. Tensions are also visible on the ground, with anti-U.S. protests opposing military cooperation between the two countries, which view their hospitality to the Americans as being abused. We thank our information partners for help with spreading this video news. Subscribe to our channel to receive up-to-date information on the situation in Ukraine and current geopolitical events in Europe.